parents have read it, what is the most embarrassing thing your child has done in public? My uncle owned a store, and once I needed some duct tape and got it free from there. The same day we were in another store, I was about to pay and my child said, are you going to leave without paying here as well? Quote, you win. Though to be fair this is the first reply I've read so far. Did employees of the store hear that comment? Did you explain it? I've got so lucky. They're Chinese and didn't understand. They're still here and now they definitely would understand that. A couple years I was getting pancakes with my three-year-old at a small diner. After eating she had gross sticky toddler hands so I took her into the men room to wash them. I'm a guy. I was warming up the water and she runs over to this super old guy pissing in the urinal and screams d a d d d d d d y y y y i can't see his peer she shouted this so i'm sure the entire diner heard peer being the word she uses for penis the guy didn't say anything i apologized to solemn silence which made it 1000 times more awkward sorry old guy really would it be any better if he spoke i think there's a look that parents give each other of understanding when their kids do awful shit and I was really looking for that on his face instead of cranky Al Pacino face. My four-year-old had about a million questions about the body, and eventually started asking, where babies come from this year we told him everything except what sex was. Fast forward, I'm at lunch with my son, my mother-in-law, and three of her friends. One of the friends turns to my son and asks how old he is and when his birthday is. My son replies to a 75-year-old woman. I came out of my mom's vagina on April 25th. I tried my best not to laugh and quickly change the subject. My 85-year-old grandmother would have died if a kid told her this. From laughter. That is. I've seen her laugh so hard at dirty jokes she cried and needed help getting to a chair. One of my daughters. Around age 3 or 4 was with her somewhat socially conservative grandmother. Mind your P's and Q's. Be polite. Be on your best behavior. Etc. In a small town. Everybody knows everybody. Grocery store. Grandma introduces my daughter to someone she's known in town for decades. Jenny. This is Ms. Longtime friend. The friend bends down. Extends a hand to my daughter and says, Hello. I've known your grandma forever. I'm Ms. Longtime friend. My daughter takes her hand and says, Hello, I'm Jenny. And then, turning around and bending over grabs her butt cheeks and doing her best Ace Ventura imitation, says, And this is my talking booty. Quote, I'm fairly confident that, 20 years later, I have yet to be forgiven for allowing my daughter to have seen that movie. Pushing her in a cart at Home Depot, she just slowly looks at me and says, I couldn't hold it, and I'm like, wait, what? Then I look behind us to see a long line of urine on the floor. She didn't even tell me she had to go. This one should be higher up. There are some good ones here, but this is the first one I actually really laughed at. When my daughter was 2.5, my son was born. Cute three-year-old daughter noticing son has different parts. After intense interrogation I've covered boys have different bits than girls. But what's it called? Boy bits tinkle. Multiple generic non-penis words were attempted she wasn't having it. So I said it's a penis. That was that. She was happy with her new knowledge. Roll on the weekly food shop. Where she told the young male cashier, you have a penis. Poor lad went redder than a tomato. Three-year-old grinned pleased with her herself. She's 14 and this still haunts me. Teaching kids the right names for things is important though. Definitely. Although my three years old calls it a beginner. My young brother. Going to church for first time. Sees the priest come out wearing long robes. Jumps up and screams Batman. Years ago. My nephew. Around three. Was goofing around in church and his dad finally had enough. My uncle snatched him up to take him to the restroom for a talking to. As my uncle is carrying them out my nephew looks back over his shoulder yells. Pray for me pastor. The whole church lost it. 
My uncle lost it and my nephew didn't get talked to. Kids in church can be fun. Not my child but my little cousin. Every summer I'd spend two to three weeks with my aunts and cousins. One of them was Kay and we were really close. Even though we were four years apart. Well, she had a pretty traumatic childhood and was unfortunately wetting the bed at age eight much to her. Embarrassment. I was 12 and just started my period. But I needed more pads so we went to Walmart. They went one way to get her some pull-ups and I went the other for my pads. And I found them in line. My sweet baby cousin runs up to me. In the middle of dozens of people. And screams, you still pee the bed too? Quote. Turns out they told her I went to get big girl pull-ups for our sleepover to make her feel better. About it all. I said yes because fuck it. I don't actually live around there and I adore that girl. But I then ran away after tossing my pads at my aunt and waited in the car. We still cry laughing about this 15 years later. This is actually really sweet. My son asked an overweighted if he was having twins. Guy took it in stride but man. Sad face. My daughter called a severely overweight woman on a mobility scooter a car once. She did not take it in stride. I was with my daughter in a Walmart she was about 5 yo at the time. She asked if she could try on a skirt and I said yes but afterward refused to put her pants back on. Demanding she gets the skirt. After multiple times of refusing her demand she took off the skirt but still refused to put her pants back on crying and screaming. So here is an adult male close to 30 carrying a 5 yo crying screaming girl under one arm while carrying her pants in the other hand and marching out of the Walmart. Interestingly no one tried to stop me or alerted the security or police. It was the embarrassed parent. God please strike me down now so I don't have to deal with this anymore face that gave it away is being above board. You are probably right. It was one of my most embarrassing moments and the thought was more of Oh my god everyone is going to think I am AF hash at king dash pedophile but similar face. Not me but my mom is here when my brother was little. Him and my mom went to the grocery store. And I guess he wasn't getting his way. He cowered and loudly said, Mom don't hit me. Quote, my mom would never hit any of her children. But I think she might have thought about it that day. When my son was four, he loved to wail on his younger brother as siblings do, and so was constantly being scolded that it was not okay to hit. So then he gets in trouble and what comes out of his mouth? Just don't hit me Dada. It's not okay to hit. It's not okay to hit. Smart kid lol. Not my child, and not a parent, but one time my niece, two at the time, learning animal sounds and such, pointed at a black man and started making monkey noises. Being 17 and not knowing what to do I about killed myself. If it makes you feel any better my daughter when she was maybe 3 years old was walking down the store I was an African American person was walking toward us. She pointed at them and said, look, chocolate people, quote dot, my kid is obsessed with UPS trucks and will stop and stare anytime he'll notice one doing the rounds. We walked past one once with the back doors open and a black delivery man in his UPS outfit inside of it. Well, my kid just had to shout excitedly about how magical it was that the clothes were picking up the boxes without anybody inside of the monsieur yes. There was no lighting in the back of the truck and I am still dying inside just reminiscing about the whole thing. Shit in a display toilet. My 40 year old father did this. When I was dress shopping for my wedding, I brought my mom and my sister who also brought my three years old nephew because her husband was working. I came out of the dressing room to show them the dress I wanted. When we realized my nephew had been too quiet, we looked around and he had his back to one of the full length mirrors, pants around his ankles and he was mooning himself. My sister wanted to die from embarrassment but I couldn't breathe I was laughing so hard. I got mooned by a random little boy when I walked into the toilets once. I'm female. His mum had brought him into the toilets with her and had gone into her own cubicle. 
The little guy decided to pee with the door wide open. So when I walked in, he was doing a butters, pants around his ankles, shirt held up. So freaking cute. It gets better. The little boy is done. There's a bit of a cue. He peers under his mom's door and loudly yells. Are you doing a big poo? That was it for me. I was laughing my ass off. Poor woman was so embarrassed when she came out. Cute kid. I hope he didn't get in too much trouble. Sorry. English isn't my first language. Little context. We lived in a very Catholic area. And my parent were atheist. We had a cat named John Paul II. Same name as the Pope back then. My sister were waiting with my dad in a waiting room with approximately 15 other people. My mom joined them after work. A little late. My sister then said very loudly, Mom, did you know? Today Jean Paul II shat on the carpet. Quote, My three sons, ages three to seven, began to loudly discuss the size of my nipples. As compared to theirs, at a Dairy Queen, why do they know the size? Because I also have an infant daughter that was breastfeeding at the time. And so they then began to discuss how she sucks on them etc. The table of teenage boys next to us found all of this quite amusing. I did not. I am so sorry, but this is hilarious. I was heavily pregnant with my second kid and my oldest was two at the time. We were at my OBGYNAPPT waiting to be called. This random guy walks out with his wife from the where the doctor rooms are and my oldest jumps out. His chair screams, Daddy? Daddy, and runs to the random guy. This guy looked mortified and awkward and said, Oh sorry buddy. I'm not. My son looked nothing like this guy and it was extremely embarrassing trying waddle up to this guy and try to pry my two-year-old off a random man. You don't need to specify oldest it would be awkward for your fetus to jump out of his chair. When I was three, I asked a random man who liked a bit like my dad for a donut and my dad asked me what was going on. And I turned around to see my real dad. I almost a shit my pants lol. The most embarrassed I felt with kids was from something I said. My daughter would repeatedly say, I love you, after she'd been fussed at for bad behavior. So I reprimanded her in Target and she just keeps saying it over and over and I got annoyed and raised my voice saying, don't tell me you love me. Oh um we did I get some nasty looks. My son says sorry and then tries to kiss me and yes it gets annoying after a while. Like I don't want kisses I just want you to stop being a little shit. Lol this is my brother to this day. He's 15. Will piss my mom off and then forcefully try to hug her. One of these days she's gonna pop them in the nose and I'll laugh. Okay so I'm writing this on behalf of my parents who don't use Reddit. This happens when I was quite young maybe 5 or 6. Now at this time there were two companies that ran trains from my local train station. Virgin Trains and London Midlands. London Midlands trains took about 45 minutes to get to London where Virgin Trains took 30. Virgin Trains also looked much cooler to a 5 year old. Because of this I thought Virgin Trains were the greatest thing ever. One day me and my family were on a trip to London on a busy train. As we were going through the journey I loudly proclaimed so the whole carriage could hear, I know. Where virgins go at night my parents trying avoid the stairs from the whole carriage. And probably hoping my answer would not make it worse ask, where do they go? I promptly responded, into the tunnels. My parents have never been more embarrassed. West Coast Mainline I see. I was the child, at the beach. Someone made a mermaid sculpture out of sand with her boobs out. I went and accidentally fell on top of her in an attempt to cop a feel. Didn't ruin the sculpture, but I think my mom and aunt were pretty embarrassed. My dad and uncle on the other hand, not so much. Like bags of sand, I live in a very white part of a very white state. A few years ago, I was picking up my nephew at preschool one day and an elderly black man came in to pick up his grandson. My new few goes wide-eyed and points at the black man and shouts Obama. 
quote dot. The man was a good sport about it and the teachers thought it was cute. My cousin called them chocolate people. As in, that little chocolate girl in my class. Thankfully everyone was a good sport about it. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.